Hey y'all, Fat Man Outdoors. Let's talk about zero today. Zero does have a value, especially when you're dealing with one of these. Zero is the point of aim that you're going to use that's going to give you information on what the trajectory of your round is. A, a lot of folks have a misconception of when you fire a bullet that the bullet travels in a straight line from the end of the muzzle to the target you're shooting at same as the line of your sight. That's not the case at all. A bullet will actually climb for a considerable amount of time up as it travels along to meet your point of aim and then and after a certain distance it will begin to descend and actually cross your point of aim again and there's two points of exact zero. What you want to try to do when you sight your rifle in is you want to get a short range zero that's going to give you a uh, long range zero that's practical in the shooting that you're going to do. With an AR which is a standard like a defense weapon for most people you want a relatively close range uh, I say all purpose zero so uh, usually the best thing to do with that is is if what if you go with what a lot of people call the marine zero. I've got a target set up down range at 36 yards now that's what commonly a lot of people call the Marine Zero. At 36 yards, it's going to give you a, a high flight at 200 yards of about 5 inches. And then it's going to begin to descend. And then you're going to land in just about 300 yards as your zero again, which is, for all accounts and purposes, about the practical accuracy that you expect out of using one of these ARs in a situation where it may be to defend life and liberty. Uh, at 100 yards, you're, you're going to be about around two inches high. Uh, so you're still right in there. At 50 yards, you're going to be about a half or three quarters of an inch high. At 36 yards zero, you're going to have a really good happy medium for what you can do with your rifle practically. So what I'm going to do is, this rifle's not been sighted in. It has a Crimson Trace Pro on it. The uh, a green dot and we're going to uh, zero this rifle with that at 36 yards uh, and, I, and I'll show you the shots we make at 36 yards to get on zero and then I never have to do anything else with this rifle I 100% trust that zero I'm going to be shooting Winchester uh, 55 grain uh, it's just standard uh, copper jacketed uh, 55 grain ammo uh, don't have anything done special to the barrel. Now this barrel does have a heavy barrel and is, it is not the government cut. It's 18 inch barrel. I like the 18 inch barrel better than the shorter barrels because you get more velocity and you get better accuracy and it's going to hold at a longer range than it would with a shorter barrel before you start dropping off. Uh, you know it's uh, AR is like a Lego set man. You build what you want but for me the 18 works. Uh, it is a budget AR. It's a, one of the, the cheaper ARs. I kind of wanted to show that these things will operate correctly. It's a radical brand AR. They shoot pretty good. They feel good. They have all the standard stuff. It has forward assist and everything. It's basically a, a M4 upper and a full length rail on it. Uh, it's they kind of really, really nice little rifle for $500. You know, brand new in the box. You, you're not going to beat them. Let's put a few rounds down range, get her zeroed in, and I'll let y'all get back to doing whatever you're doing. Let's take a look and see where those landed. Those landed. Well, that was something really stupid. I thought, why am I not getting consistent shots? I was about to cast a rifle off. My red dot was loose. 
some of the stuff that happens when you're trying to do video. Let's try this one more time. Well, as you can see, with everything tight, I'm way, way, way to the right. Probably five inches. I barely got on paper. So now I need to go back to the left quite a bit. Let's try that now. Now that is a lot better. Now I just need to come up about two inches and we will be where we need to be. Getting really close. Need to come up about four more clicks. Now that little orange dot is a half an inch at 36 yards. I think that just about did it. Okay, that's about a half an inch high, but they're right together. So I'm going to come back down two clicks. I'm going to call it good. Try to get on that little black dot on the bottom. Everything so far has worked really well on this little rifle. I don't have no complaints. I have a complaint about my green dot getting loose, but that wasn't the gun's fault. Or mine. Maybe mine. Black dot on the bottom of the paper. I do have one complaint. The trigger has some take up. Alright. Open and clear. know where it went but I bought brought a chamber flag so stick my little screwdriver in there we'll walk down range see what we got I'm gonna take you with me that was all those shots right there now you get that group that that little dots a half an inch it's not an inch dot it's a half inch uh, so you're probably talking inch and a quarter group that's as good as I can shoot it that little gun will shoot better than that I'm very satisfied with what with that group right there well all right y'all there you can see what it takes to zero a rifle now you could probably do this much better with fewer shots if uh, you had better eyes than I do and, and a better setup I'm shooting off a table that's not real stable here and uh, doing the best I can with it but I'm very satisfied with that zero that zero will take this gun to 300 yards. It is gonna, they're gonna intersect again on zero at about 300. And then you're gonna get at 200, about five and a half inches high. You're gonna be good with this practical accuracy. You're gonna be just fine with this rifle anywhere you wanna shoot it. Uh, don't have no complaints about the rifle. That was, I don't know, I guess it was my fault with the nut on the, on the uh, green dot. I'm working loose, but that could have been my fault for not tightening it all the way up. I don't know. I thought I put my torque wrench on it to check it, but I'll have to do that one and go back in. This gun is new. That was her maiden voyage right there. She she uh, shot her first rounds right there at that at this little junction. So it's a lot of stuff wearing in and maybe new dragging. Uh, but it's straight out of the box. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't put oil on nothing. I didn't even, t I opened it up to make sure everything was there and functioning and closed it back and that was it. So I'll oil it back up and, and get everything lubricated inside the bolt carrier and the bolt and, and the next time I shoot it, see how it does. But guys, I appreciate y'all watching this video and uh, got more stuff coming. This is a fat man. I'm gone. Hey guys, if you liked the video, hit subscribe, 
Don't forget to click that bell so you get notifications the next time we put out a video. Appreciate you. It's the Fat Man. I'm gone.